Here we are with project number nine, edges. Nine edges, three, of, three different, and we did more than nine. We did paper edges, lace edges, ribbon edges, and fabric edges. So stay tuned. And here we are. We are working on, in our June Just Do It Junk Journal Challenge, we are adding um, <laughs> paper edges, trims, lace, paper, ribbon, punched. They can be any of those edges. They need to be, at least three of them need to be different. So we do have some, um, let's see here that are, so this one is punched with a paper punch, and this one is punched with a paper punch as well. And I think there might be a third one back here. Yeah, this one has an edge punch on it also that is, um, we added it to the, um, to the existing paper and made a border. And because it's double-sided paper, we have that, okay? Then we have a lace edge here that we added, and a lace edge here that we added, and this one here. So we already have our three plus. We have three, four, five, six six paper edges so far. I do have one other really fun paper punch and that is this one here with the bucket and the shovel and the castle. So I've done that in a couple places. But let's go ahead and get these out of the way and we're going to add some other edges. So um, to start off with we are going to well, I want to show you, I'm cutting this in half because um, I don't need any to be that long. So cutting it in half here, we have a piece of it already cut. Um, we have creep, so we're going to go ahead and add to the edge here. We have to stay pretty close to this edge because we have a card that is opening. It's one of our pockets. Okay, so we're going to just, whoa, try and be straight. And I'm using fabric tack because we are using lace and I've already trimmed this down. Okay, so there's that. Now um, you can also sew your edges, which I did this, which one? One of them I sewed, thought. Maybe not. This one is, no, this one's sewn. Okay, so see, I sewed this one on. So you can sew your edge on, you can glue your edge on, you could staple your edge on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put plastic here and here. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. And um, so another thing you can do is you can just add, well, you could add a paper strip to the edge. You can add washi tape to the edge. Um, right now I'm doing edges that are a little bit different than the regular paper and washi. Those are two things that I do like to do. Um, I have this ribbon that I'm using and so I'm going to go ahead and add it just like I would add the washi or the paper trim just flat up to the side of the edge and just like both of those ways this also gives um, helps to give strength to our paper trim it off so that would be a paper edge now look and see if we have any plastic whoop okay and 
then, okay, so the one other thing I wanted to, I had gone ahead and took one of those strips of fabric from my mom's stash and I just ruffled the whole thing and I have it ready to, um, to use and let's see if we use it here. So we have this one is right here so we don't want to have them too close together okay we should be dry here okay I think we'll use it here okay and yes this is our belly band we'll still be able to get in and put our um, whatever we're putting right there I'm gonna and we'll still be able to open this because this will be flat out so I'm gonna go ahead and put my bead of glue right up at the edge and I am going to add this right at the edge okay so I'm gonna try and have my sewn just right at the edge I like that even the wrong side of this still matches this really well okay and we'll still be able to put something in this pocket And we'll still be able to open that out. Okay. So let's see how we look. Okay. Now I think we're going to want to put something in here that comes out as well. Let's try. Let's see. We have this with our okay, I kind of like that just because then, um. Okay, then we'll be able to see that that will show up better. Okay. So bead along there and we need it to stick out a little bit so we're We have some of this, um, yeah, I like that. This is avocado dyed lace. Um, I think this was from Maria. Thank you, Maria. The stuff that I did and the stuff that she gave me got mixed together, but I think that this one is from her. So thank you. And this will just help because otherwise I, I had put this, um, the fabric piece in too far. And this will just extend this out for me. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that. So let's see how they look. Yeah, yeah, that's how we'll look from the side. Then we have one more piece of this. Okay, and <laughs> things are falling. Falling. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this. Okay. I'm going to do two lines on this one because it, it, I don't want it to be bouncing around. We'll go down the center. Here we go. So I really like lace on the edge of my journals. I don't always do it, um, but there we go. So do we have nine edges? Let's check. We have one lace. Put that, put that up here so we don't lose it. One lace. Fabric, two. Ribbon, three. So that's three different ones, lace, ribbon, fabric, three, um, four different lace, punch, five, punch, six, fabric, seven, lace, eight, fabric, and lace, nine. And there's another lace and another punch back there. So we have taken care of our nine paper edges, at least three of them different for our June Just Do It Junk Journal Challenge. You can still get in on this. It goes through June 30th. And what do you get? You get a invitation to a virtual party and a digital kit before it's available to others you get a full digital kit available to you in the virtual party group. So, um, and then the virtual party is lots of fun. We get, I give away prizes and, um, yeah, and you'll have a finished journal. So there you go. I hope you're enjoying this and I hope you enjoyed nine different, well, nine edges. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you join us in the Facebook group and have a great day. Bye.